Hello everyone and welcome to the well of curiosity. Now, in videos gone by, we have explored the layers in our atmosphere and the layers in our oceans. If you've missed those, then I'll leave the links down in the description. But for today, we are going to continue our love of traveling through layers by investigating what lies in the Earth's rainforests on a journey to the forest floor. Our Earth is home to over one and a half million recorded species of plants and animals. Rainforests cover less than 2% of the Earth's surface, and yet they are home to half of that number, which means over three quarters of a million species of plants and animals. The animals in there will range from jaguars and antelopes to sloths and snakes. But the most common type of animal you will come across are insects. One scientist in the rainforest in Peru managed to find 50 species of ant on just one single tree. To give you an idea of how full of life the rainforest can be, let's take a quick look at the Amazon, the world's largest rainforest. It's so big you could fit the UK into it over 23 times. Inside this rainforest, we have managed to record at least 40,000 species of plant, 3,000 species of fish, 1,300 species of bird, 430 species of mammal, 400 species of amphibian, 380 species of reptile, and tens of thousands of species of insect. All of that can be found in just one of our rainforests. Based on what we've managed to find so far, some scientists reckon that there could be over 50 million more species lying in the depths of the rainforest that are just waiting for us to discover them. Let's pause for a moment. Why are the rainforests so full of life? Well, they are some of the oldest ecosystems on Earth, being around since the time of the dinosaurs, giving life plenty of time to develop. They managed to escape the great freeze that was brought on by the ice ages where huge parts of the world froze over. They are kept at a nice, warm, stable temperature with no harsh winters that would kill many creatures and it receives plenty of rainfall on almost a daily basis. The constant battle for food, shelter and space is another reason why there are so many species. As creatures adapt to feed on different foods and live in different spaces that other creatures cannot in order to survive. I could talk a lot more about the number of species in our rainforest, but enough of that. It is time to start our journey down to the forest floor. Now there are four layers to our world's rainforests. Each of these layers will be at a different height have a different range of conditions and be home to different animals. We're going to take a look at all of these things, but before we begin, it's worth bearing in mind that these layers aren't always separate from one another. Sometimes they can merge together and animals can move between the layers, which makes finding the boundaries quite difficult. If you were dropped out of the sky over a rainforest, the first layer you would come to would be made up of the tallest of trees that would tower over the rest and is called the emergent layer. The tops of these trees would be 70 to 100 meters off the ground and would be quite spread out to maximize the benefit of receiving lots of sunlight. Life in this layer can be quite difficult. Because the trees are so tall, they are exposed to the heat of the sun during the day, the cold air during the night, and strong winds, which can destroy their leaves. To help adapt to this environment, the leaves of the trees in the emergent layer will be quite small, tough, and covered in a waxy coating to protect themselves. Animals that live in the emergent layer will be quite small, as the thinner branches cannot cope with heavy weights. The sorts of animals here will tend to be flying or gliding animals like scarlet macaws, harpy eagles, bats, morpho butterflies and pygmy gliders. Although you will find some species of monkey like capuchins here as well. Dropping down the trees to the next layer down, which is home to the majority of rainforest species, the canopy layer. 
This is around 30 to 45 meters off the ground and is made up of thick overlapping trees. Just like the emergent layer above, the canopy receives lots of sunlight, meaning that plenty of plants are able to grow to provide shelter, food and space for the animals that live here. However, the canopy does have its drawbacks. During the middle of the day, it becomes the hottest layer of the rainforest. Plus, it's so thick and full of stuff, animals normally have a tough job locating each other, which is why they've developed a series of loud calls and sounds to communicate with each other, meaning that the canopy is one noisy layer. This layer is home to over 60% of known rainforest species. Most of them will be able to fly, glide or climb. I'm not going to list all of them for you now, but they do include things like howler monkeys, tree frogs, sloths, toucans, orangutans and iguanas. Dropping down further, we encounter a very different environment in the third layer called the understory. This is a lot more humid than the canopy and the emergent layer above, and it also receives a lot less sunlight. The plants in this layer will be quite small, and will have huge leaves to try and get as much sunlight as they can. These plants will comprise of shrubs, ferns and small trees, with climbing plants like vines snaking their way up the larger trees to get at the sunlight. The tree trunks down here will be quite brightly coloured, with a variety of moss, lichens and fungi being able to grow in the damper, darker environment. You will still find plenty of animals in the understory. You will normally find creatures like bees, beetles, lizards and snakes. But larger animals like jaguars and leopards will sometimes climb into the understory to help stalk and hunt their prey. And finally, the fourth layer in our rainforests is the even darker and even damper forest floor. This layer receives all of the fallen branches, twigs, leaves, fruits and seeds from the three layers above. Now all of this material combined with the hot humid conditions and the presence of lots of bacteria and fungi decomposes very very quickly and fills the forest floor with nutrients. This final layer is home to all of the larger land-bound animals like elephants, tigers, tapirs, anteaters and gorillas to name just a few. So here we are, we have arrived at the rainforest floor. Over the course of this video we have taken a look at what each layer of the rainforest is like, the sorts of animals that live there and just how many species might be waiting in our rainforest to be discovered. I do hope that you have enjoyed this journey through the layers of our rainforest. If you have, then please drop the video a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I will leave you to climb your way back out and I hope to see you all next time. Goodbye for now.